Martina the Beautiful Cockroach by Carmen Agra Didi. Illustrated by Michael Austin. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha was a beautiful cockroach. She lived in a cozy street lamp with her big, lovable family. Now that Martina was 21 days old, she was ready to give her leg in marriage. The Cucaracha household was crawling with excitement. Every senora in the family had something to offer. Tia Cuca gave her una pianta, a seashell comb. Mama gave her una mantilla, a lace shawl. But Abuela, her Cuban grandmother, gave her un consejo incredible, some shocking advice. You want me? To do what? Martina was aghast. You are a beautiful cockroach, said Abuela. Finding husbands to choose from will be easy. Picking the right one could be tricky. But, 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 stammered Martina, how will spilling coffee on a suitor's shoes help me find a good husband? Her grandmother smiled. It will make him angry. Then you will know how he will speak to you when he loses his temper. Trust me, Martina, the coffee test never fails. Martina wasn't so sure. Meanwhile, Papa sent El Perico, the parrot, to spread the word. Soon, all of Havana, from the busy sidewalks of El Prado, More, and to El Moro Castle, was abuzz with the news. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, was ready to choose a husband. As was the custom, Martina would greet her suitors from the balcony, under the family's many watchful eyes. Daintily, she sat down and crossed her legs, and crossed her legs, and crossed her legs. She didn't have long to wait. Don Gallo, the rooster, strutted up first. Martina tried not to stare at his splendid shoes. Keeping one eye on his reflection, Don Gallo greeted her with a sweeping bow. Caramba, you really are a beautiful cockroach. I will look even more beautiful with you on my wing. With that, he leaned forward and crooned. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Uh, Martina hesitated only for an instant. Coffee, senor. Right on cue, Abuela appeared. Martina nervously splattered coffee onto the rooster's spotless shoes. Oh, my, she said in mock display. I'm all feelers today. A kikiriki, the rooster shouted. Clumsy cockroach, I will teach you better manners when you are my wife. Martina was stunned. The coffee test had worked. A most humble offer, senor, she said coolly, but I cannot accept. You are much too cocky for me. Don Cerdo, the pig, hoofed up next. His smell curled the little hairs on Martina's legs. What an unimaginable scent, Martina wheezed. Is it some new uh, pig cologne? Oh, no, senorita. It's the sweet aroma of my pigsty. Rotten eggs, turnip peels, stinky cheese. Don Cerdo licked his chops and sang, Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Lina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina had already left in search of the coffee. She wasted no time with the pig. Gronk, gronk, squealed Don Cerdo as he grabbed at the coffee on his shoes. What a tragedy for my poor loafers. He really is quite a ham, thought Martina. 
Calm yourself, signor. I'll clean them for you. I'll say you will, he snorted. When you are my wife, there'll be no end to your cleaning up after me. Martina rolled her eyes in disbelief. A ah, most charming offer, signor, she said dryly. But I must decline. You are much too boorish for me. The coffee test had saved her from yet another unsuitable suitor. The pig was scarcely out of sight when Don Legarto, the lizard, crept over the railing. His oily fingers brushed the little cockroach's lovely mantilla. You shouldn't sneak up on a lady like that. I don't sneak. I creep, he said, circling Martina. For some reason, this fellow really bugged her. I've had enough creeps for one day, said Martina. Adios. But I need you. Wait. The lizard fell on one scaly knee and warbled. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Oh, Martina sighed. Let me see if there's any coffee left. This time she wasn't taking any chances. Martina returned with two cups of coffee for the lizard. Psst, psst, he spat. Don Legato was livid. He changed his colors three times before he finally found his true one. And to think, he hissed, I was going to eat, er, uh, marry you. Martina stared at the lizard. You could have heard a breadcrumb drop. Food for thought, Signor, Martina said icily. But I must refuse you are much too cold-blooded for me. When Grandmother returned to collect the day's coffee cups, Martina was still fuming. I'm going inside, Abuela. So soon? Si. I'm afraid of who I might meet next. Abuela drew Martina to the railing and pointed to the garden below. What about him? Martina looked down at a tiny brown mouse, and her cockroach heart began beating faster. Tiki-tan, tiki-tan. Oh, Abuela, he's adorable. Where has he been? Right here, all along. What do I do? Go talk to him, and just be yourself. Martina handed Abuela her Pinetta and Mantilla then scurried down to the garden. The mouse was waiting. Tiki-tan, tiki-tan. Hola, hello. His voice was like warm honey. My name is Perez. Hola, she whispered quietly. My name is Martina. The beautiful cockroach, she finished for her. <gasps> you think I am beautiful? The little mouse turned pink under his fur. Well, my eyes are rather weak, but I have excellent ears. I know you are strong and good, Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha. Then he squinted sweetly. Who cares if you are beautiful? Tiki ten, tiki ten. Martina, don't forget the coffee. It was Abuela. No, thought Martina. No coffee for Perez. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha. Si, sí, abuela. Martina knew better than to argue with her Cuban grandmother. With a heavy heart, she reached for the cup. But Perez got there first. Quick as a mouse, he splashed Café Cubana on Martina's shoes. Now the coffee was on the other foot. Martina was too delighted to be angry. At last she'd found her perfect match, but she had to ask, how did you know about the coffee test? Well, mi amor, my love, I too have a Cuban grandmother.